A lightning strike from last night. Storms suspected of starting this fire that smoldered for hours at an elderly housing complex in Stoughton. It wasn't until this morning when someone noticed the smoke coming from part of that building, and that woman may have helped save dozens of people. WBZ's Michelle Fisher has more from Stoughton. This afternoon, a good Samaritan being credited for helping firefighters. The fire chief tells us that young lady walked into the fire station, which is just one street over, and told firefighters she noticed smoke and flames coming from this building. I, I woke up and, uh, and there was a fire alarm and uh, firemen were already here. William Hogan is one of more than 65 residents who had to be evacuated from this senior housing complex after an early morning fire. I look out the window and that top tower was burning and a fireman come run through, everybody out. The firefighters responded around 4.30 immediately after that good Samaritan reported smoke and flames coming from the building's cupola. Yesterday's severe weather possibly to blame. Most likely it was lightning from the storm last night that probably hit the building at the top and smoldered throughout the night. You know, in the cupola there's no fire alarms. No one was hurt, but units on the third and fourth floors were damaged. And this afternoon, residents like William are trying to figure out when they'll be able to get back inside. I keep an eye on the place because my life is in there and I want to get some of it out of there. Making things even more complicated, the fire chief says this building does not have sprinklers. When it was built back in the 70s, they weren't required. But right now, the state is actually in the final design phases of having them installed. Reporting in Stoughton, I'm Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.